This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Atlas shipbuilding guide. Today we are going to take a look at how to build the amazing armored schooner you see behind me. Let's get to it. Okay, so before we jump into this build, I just got to give a huge thank you and a shout out to one of my amazing supporters, Marine, for helping me uh, do damage tests on this build. So if you like the build, jump down there in the comments and show her some love because if it wasn't for her, you probably probably wouldn't be seeing this video today. I was about ready to scrap the whole idea and uh, she pushed me to do a little more testing and help me with those tests and actually found out that the build works better than expected. Uh, so huge thank you to her for that. Okay, so let's start this build. So there's gonna be a lot of information to cover here. A lot of crazy things are gonna happen. So uh, I'll do my best to explain as we go on why we are doing what we are doing. So you're gonna place those two square center ceiling pieces right Right there and then you're going to transform the ceiling pieces to the triangle pieces like so and then you're going to do that after you do that you are going to grab ceiling pieces again and you are going to place them like that okay so now this next part you got to be quick if you don't want to waste any resources you got to be quick because the only way you can get these pieces to angle down is to start with the sloped roof on the inside and create a V. So what we're going to do, we're gonna do them one at a time. So we're going to place them very quickly like so and then place it like that. Then you're going to grab your ceiling. You're gonna transform that one time and then you're going to pick it up. So you just hit T once real quick so you get those window pieces. This, uh, I feel like this is gonna make it easier to do repairs to see those inside pieces because it gets a little cluttery in here once we start getting all the armor pieces. Then you can go back to your ceiling and finish out that piece there that I always forget to do. It just, I don't know, I guess it helps me line these pieces up better if I don't put those in but for some reason I always put those in last so we should have something that, that looks just like that that's what you should have now the next thing you want to do is you want to place don't connect them to here you want to connect it to there to the actual deck so you will have a gap like you see there what happens is if we take these pieces here all the way back because you can you can actually take them back and and get it close and it does when you get it close though it doesn't actually snap and what happens is if one of these pieces or both of these pieces gets destroyed you end up losing your entire deck which is terrible you don't want that to happen so we're going to uh, separate that from the rest of the main deck here so we're going to keep taking these pieces ceiling pieces all the way back Make sure they stay in your hot bar and don't do stupid stuff like these are doing here. So we're just going to take them back. Leave one of these empty so wherever you want your uh, doorway down or gap down, I'm going to leave that one there empty. So we're going to do that and then we're going to back till we have two left. So we have two left right now and what we're going to do is we're going to transform that again and we're going to do what we did there in the front. So we're going to go like that now we're going to do the same thing we did up there back here so same thing over again but we'll do that like that and then we will snap them down and then we're going to hit 2t and then that and then pick them up I know I make that look easy it takes a little bit of practice I built so many of these freaking boats so it's just yeah uh, if you waste them, you waste them. If not, it's not the end of the world. I just try to show you a way to do it without wasting resources because I know these boats can get expensive. Okay, so now you should have a setup that looks like this and uh, you're, you're on your way. Now we're gonna go up here to the front and we're going to take our uh, sloped roof pieces and we're going to do that and we're going to take them to the front like that so when you can't take this one anymore that's where we're gonna stop because that's our marker and same here we're just gonna stop right there so now we're going to just just do the bottom first trust me I just do this for reference purposes so everything can be nice and lined up it's gonna make your life a lot easier if you do this bottom first because we're gonna do a row in the middle and uh, it's gonna get a little crazy so and then once we go back here you can see I can't place another one so you're good there and then uh, we're going to go back up to the front here and you can do this start this wherever you want uh, I'm going to actually just start it right here so we're going to take our half wall 
and we're going to place our half wall like that okay and then we're going to go down the side like that now it makes it this is the reason we don't do this top piece if you do this top piece first all the way down it gets a little weird and it wants to snap funny so that's why we're building it the way we're building it now and then we're going to take that down to there okay so once you've done that then you're going to go through and you're going to do your top row now your top row is going to want to snap like this every now and then it's going to do that uh, you can just hit q to change it uh, or if you just look around a little bit, you can get it to snap in the right direction. Okay, so once you've done that, then you're going to go over and you're going to do the exact same thing you did here on the other side. Okay, so once you've done that, uh, we're going to work on the back first because the back is a little crazy in order to get done what you need to get done back here. Okay, so we're going to start with the bottom part here. So you're going to take your triangle roof and you're going to place it you don't want it to do that you want it to bend in like that you can just hit Q and it should uh, go to the right spot so like that so that's what your your bottom part is going to look like okay now we're going to do the middle part here so for the middle part you want to take your roof and you want to transform that to the roof corner piece and you're gonna pl place that like that. And you're gonna do the same thing on this side. So take your roof corner piece and place it like that. Okay, and now we are going to go for the top piece here. And we're gonna take our triangle roof piece and do that. And then that, same thing here. And then you should be able to, if you can't complete it from the outside or you have issues, just go inside your boat. That, where the heck did that just snap? It said it placed, but it didn't place. There we go. And then we'll maybe it placed somewhere weird. I'll have to look for it here in a second. So then I'm just going to go inside to make sure it places in the right spot. There you go. So you should uh, have a place just like that. It should com go completely around the boat. Okay, now you are going to take your half wall and you're going to line that up right there and then we will put another one right there and then we're going to take our uh, slope roof pieces and just go back through like that. That's going to help provide a little more cover for the back side of your ship. So we're going to do the same thing over here on this side. We're going to take our half wall place it there and then take our sloped and go out three like that okay and now we're going to go do the front now the front doesn't get armored nearly as much as the back does as you can see the back has a decent amount of protection it's not as protected as the sides because you do have uh, this gap let me get let me get the old pointer arrow you do have this gap right here um, so it, it's it's a little more protected because you have more coverage, but uh, the front is a lot less protected and there's just not a lot you can do about that because it just, as you can see, none of these snap and you can't get any of the pieces to snap, but we can cover the top part of it and give it a little bit of protection. We're going to put one more piece like that and then we're going to come in the inside. We're going to do the, the same thing there and then at that point you can see it stops. So once you hit that that point, what we're going to do is we're going to go back one. So step back one, grab your half wall, snap it to the top, do it again. And then we're going to go do the same thing on the opposite side. Just to make it nice and symmetrical like that. Now we're going to grab those pieces and then we're going to add two. Do the same thing over here. Okay, and then once you have those, you do one more on each side. And then you can go inside your boat and you can grab your triangle corner and you can seal the whole thing in on the front. Just like that. Now, as you can see, 
we have a lot more open area. So you have like all of this is just open. So you want to try to protect that as much as you can. There's really nothing we can do about that. As you see over there, that's just what it looks like. I've done as much as I could to protect the front of it as I can, but there's just no no out building outside the, the boat uh, in that area there. Okay, so now we're going to talk about some stuff here because now's when you got to make a decision. Okay, so when we go inside, and believe it or not, you can actually put the cannon ports in. So let's... Uh, Let's go ahead and do this and uh, we'll, bu we'll build this top part here in a second. I just want to talk about something else first. You can actually put your cannon ports here. The cannons will poke through and they won't damage your ship. They actually fire if you're using AI. If you're using people, it won't work. So you have to use the AI. You don't really have a choice if you want to use cannons and we'll, I'll sh demonstrate all that here in a minute. Uh, so the, the decision you need to make now is placing additional pieces. So what happens? When you get shot at now with the current build configuration that we currently have, now a large cannonball will hit a piece and damage the piece that it hits. So if it hits a roof piece, it's going to damage the roof piece. It won't damage your uh, planks. Fired a couple of large cannonballs. It was the same thing every time. Whatever piece the cannonball hit, it did a buttload of damage to that single piece. The small cannonballs or aka the normal cannonballs, do an explosion AOE damage. So if it lands here at this section, it's going to spread the damage across three planks because of this armor. Sometimes these armor pieces take damage, sometimes they do not, but all three of these planks take a small amount of damage. So your actual planks on the side, not the armor, or the, the roof pieces, will take about a thousand, maybe a little less damage. However, if you don't have these armor pieces, that one plank gets hit and takes a bunch of damage. Okay, so what happens is, is this armor is different than the sloop armor, where the sloop armor actually protected your planks. This doesn't. This spreads the damage out. Now, you can mitigate and spread that damage out even more by going to your half walls and just going through here and placing half walls all through. I don't know why those aren't placing but you get the idea they'll place if they don't place we should be able to uh remove a chunk of this maybe and they should place there we go i gotta place the top one was interfering with it that was the problem so if you're doing this this build like this and you're going to place all of these pieces in you're going to want to do it as you're going on with the build so instead of just going straight across with your build with your roof pieces you're going to want to go roof piece half wall, roof piece, half wall, across all three layers. So you have all these, all three layers here that you're gonna wanna put those in. Uh, and you, if you're doing it as you're going on with the build, as you're going along with it and building each layer, you won't have as many issues as trying to do it after the fact. You can see I'm having a bunch of like snap point issues now. If I go on the inside, yeah, there there it's doing, doing it. But, uh, and then down below, uh, you're actually, if you don't do it as you go along, you're going to have a hard time getting in there and placing pieces. There we go. Well, that one, is that one going to place? No. Oh, so apparently you have to build them from the bottom up. So yeah, it would make sense to, to do it. Uh, I just tested this. I haven't done a whole build with these pieces, but we tested a large chunk of uh, wall with these, or I should say armor with these pieces. So you want to make sure that they're sloped and not straight. And you're going to you're going to have to build them as you go go along. So you're going to, have to do the bottom first because for some reason they don't want to stack backwards. So you're going to want to do that as you're building the whole build. So the whole inside of the build is going to look like uh, this structure right here. Okay. I hope that's self-explanatory. I hope you understand that. Uh, let me. I'm going to go ahead and go through the trouble of uh, redoing this real quick so I can show you what it'll look like, just just in case anybody doesn't understand. Okay, so see what I did there? See how that looks with all those half wall pieces? So when you're building your three layers, build it like I showed you, start it like I showed you. After you do the bottom layer, go back through, line that whole bottom layer with half wall pieces. Then build your, your next layer and do the, do the same thing. And then so on and so on, till you get it to look like this. When you do it like this, it really screws with the way the damage works. It just 
completely screws up the damage and causes it to splash really weird and mitigates a lot of damage sometimes just like one roof piece will get if the cannonball like lands right here like sometimes one roof piece will get damaged or sometimes one of the middle piece half walls will get damaged or maybe just the plank will only take a little bit of damage and none of the roof pieces will take damage it just really screws with it but if you're going to do that, you're at, each one of those is adding an additional 8 kilograms, so you're really stacking on the weight. On top of that, you can still do the cannons, so don't worry about that. You can still put the cannons in there. We tested that. If you want to add cannons, you're adding even more weight on top of that. I mean, if you look at our weight now, we're already at 1,499, and we haven't even completed the top half, added the additional ceilings onto the top here, uh, or our ship chest with resources in it for repairs, or any of that stuff. So you have to consider your weight as you're making these decisions. I'm just trying to give you the information that I've, I've learned so that you can make decisions, you know, based on the type of build you want and, you know, the weight problems and stuff that you want to deal with. So now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and we'll complete the rest of the build. Now, what I like to do back here is I like to leave this one empty. So we will do this and then we'll just fill in the rest of the ceiling pieces. Okay, so now you can take some stairs and you can hit Q and then the stairs will swap like that. And then you can do that. Now, it's going to be hard to get to these back pieces in here. I know uh, there's not a whole lot you can do about that. You can't really move the window. You could get up here and maybe crouch down and, and get into some of those pieces. You may end up uh, having a situation where you have to jump overboard to get to, to the pieces down below there. You can also come down here and get to some of the pieces. Um, but yeah, you're going to have a little bit of issues there. If you're anchored, you can remove pretty much any of these armor pieces and just replace them with new ones with little to no issue. You don't have to be w worried about losing pieces. Like, look, if I, if I destroy this roof piece right here, see, no problem. And I can just slap down a new one. But if you're not anchored, it starts very low hit points and has to count up. If you're anchored, it'll slap down brand new, no problems. Now to complete the back part of this, what you're going to do is you're going to take a half wall, place it there, half wall, place it there. Same thing here, same thing there, okay? Then you're going to take your slanted pieces like that, swap over to the other one, place that there. And then what you can do is you can take your roof pieces all the way down, same thing, all the way down like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take full wall pieces, put them there, and then we're going to take, make a door there, swap back to the full wall, then swap to the half wall. And then you end up with that. I know it's not the prettiest thing, but it gets the job done. And then you can just go ahead and seal that up. Now at this point, you can just slap a door on there and then you're, you're pretty secure. Once we get the back part on here, the, uh, the plank pieces, nobody can get in here. I know it's not completely sealed up, but don't worry, nobody can get in here. Once you put those plank pieces on, you're good to go. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to place our sail. So we will place our sail, what was that, about the, uh, about the middle there. So about that one right there like that. And then we're going to place our ship wheel. Now the reason I always place the ship wheel on top, if you don't, if you're anywhere close to any structure piece, like if I place it right here close to this wall, watch this, watch what happens. See that? Like you don't get an actual like full view of your ship and nobody wants that. That's terrible. You want it to bounce back and give you the full view of your awesome ship. So what we're going to do is we're going to place it right here on the very top. Now when we do it, we get that. So that's what you want. That's the reason we put those triangle pieces. It gives us a little bit of extra cover. So we're going to go to our wall. We're going to select uh, our wall, half wall or our sloped wall left I'll spit it out eventually and then we're going to do that then we're going to swap to the right one and then we're going to do that now you can do this like we did here to provide cover for your person driving and uh, still be able to get the full view of your ship if you try to put anything on these so if we do this like uh, even this yeah do that 
Now, see what happens. So all you get is that little bit of side cover, but it does, it should help you from getting sniped a little bit. It's gonna make them harder to hit you, make it uh, those little cover pieces you'll take cannon damage and uh, should help you out a little bit there. Okay, so at this point, you just slap, slap some planks on it so we can go all the way down to the bottom here and uh, grab our planks and uh, just start filling it in from the bottom. All right, so I've put some gun ports as some of the planks so that I can show you that they don't actually get damaged. And uh, we have some ammo on the ship and I think, I think we're good to set sail. And that is the same side as I did the, yeah, so that's the same side. I'm just gonna call that honeycombing. I know it's not honeycombing, but that's what we're gonna call it. So those gun ports are on the same side that we did the honeycombing to. So we're going to uh, release it. All right, so I'm gonna hit R to open the gun ports and you can see that the gun ports open to the side there. And there you go, they fired. So let's go down there and look and see if we took any damage. So you can see the only damage that we've taken is the damage from being out in the water. And the planks have not taken any damage, or the, uh, not the planks, the armor pieces have not taken any damage. Let's go look from the outside. So you can see there that the, uh, the gun ports, the guns are just sticking through, but they do not take any damage. Let me uh, fly. So we got those there that did not take any damage. No damage, no damage. Okay, so now that you've seen that we don't take any damage on those pieces there. Yeah, see, nothing. Everything's good. And uh, I think it's the, yeah, it's the plank pieces that keep showing. So that's just the normal wear and tear you get from being out and about. Okay, so hopefully you all enjoy this build. Let me know how it performs for you if you have any issues and like, legit PvP situation. I plan on uh, giving it a shot and seeing how it uh, works. I love the fact that you can shoot the guns through it. That's freaking hilarious. Um, but yeah, let me know how you like it. All right, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my Elite Crow Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching watching.